Hey guys, Jacqueline from Homeschool Hangout. And today I am reviewing the Mastering Essential Math Skills workbook. It's book two. It says middle grades to high school, but we'll have a conversation about that. If you like these looks at curriculum or specific books, do me a favor, subscribe, thumbs up, comment. If you don't, subscribe, comment. Your thoughts are influential. And let's jump into this. First thing off, this is a complimentary product I received as being part of the homeschool review crew. But all thoughts and opinions are mine because you can't pay me enough to share your opinions. So, declaration out front. So this is, they say, a 20 minute a day kind of skill drill. And it's kind of the idea. This is not really a math curriculum, but it kind of is. So let me get into it. So... It is really designed for the classroom setting. And it goes through in the beginning and tells you how they suggest you use it, including like you start at the board and you do this and then you do this and then as a class you do this. But it is very adaptable to homeschooling. So every day is broken up, we will see, um, into these speed drills where you have like plus and multiply and then you come up with a number for the day. Then you have review exercises up here then you have, in theory, newer material. And when I say in theory, I mean, obviously, if you're handing this to a kid who you expect to be able to finish the book, they probably can already uh, divide because you are going to get to some very algebraic thinking. I don't have them write down the speed drills. I literally, I'm doing this with a, like, fifth, sixth grader. I sit here and I go, okay, today's number is two. What is two plus zero, two plus seven, two? And I just have him respond. And so we do that, and then I have him go work on this on his own. They recommend doing the sample problems together. I basically say, look at the sample. Do you know how to do it? Otherwise, we can do it together. And he's so far been okay with doing it on his own. And then they have a group of um, 10 problems they do on their own. And then they have a little word problem at the bottom. And these are little word problems. You're not going to have to get into, like, 20 minutes of explanation. But a plane traveled at 4,500 miles in six hours, what's its average speed per hour? Hint, just math teaching hint. Remind kids when you see speed per hour, that means you take your miles, divide them by your time per, per fraction line. But anyways, um, it's good. I like it. Um, I didn't have him do it in the workbook because frankly, depending on where your student's at, you may want to have him do this every other year. You may want to do it over and over because it is a good drills reminder. Um, so I just have him write it out here and then I grade it. The answers are in the back. The answers are in the back. So if you're worried about cheating, just know the answers are in the back. But we like it. It's been very doable. They also have um, videos online that you can get access to. And so that's good. So when you do get to things, and I say this because this book seriously starts with adding two columns, three columns high, two numbers wide, and then ends up with, oh, let's see, geometry speed drills, reading protractors, naming the right angles in a graphic. So just because your student can do the beginning doesn't mean they'll be able to do all the way to the end, and it does come with video lessons to help. So that is really good. And um, we like it. It's pretty quick. It is really nice, too, for seeing where the holes are. Because even when you teach a curriculum from the beginning, your students can understand certain concepts better than others. For me, part of my problem is, is there are certain concepts he was never taught. And that is a challenge. And... This helps catch some of that because a, a great example, because separate from this, we're also working through the critical thinking fractions decimals book. My son was taught how to like add basic fractions together. So one fourth plus one fourth is two fourths. So when you gave him one fourth plus one half, that's two sixths, right? Because he wasn't taught the fundamental principle of a fraction. But also, there's a certain amount of muscle memory mechanics that come in with the lower levels of math. 
and some children need to work on it more than others. Some children are very conceptual, but some need that mechanics. So the nice thing about doing this repeatedly is one, if you get to a spot that is just well beyond, and I'll say this because when we get to this section on geometry, this is well beyond my current students' capabilities. It just is. But next time I pull this out, we can start from the beginning. He can get his reminder and we can go a little further. We can start at the beginning, start with the reminder and go a little further. And it's a great patch too. It's a great summer stop the slide curriculum. It's a great over the holidays, even if you're doing like three other things during the year, when you're on those breaks, it's a great thing to have on hand where you're like, at least you're doing this. It's kind of like the five minute grammar stuff. So we really liked it. I'm really enjoying it. But like I said, we are going to be getting to stuff that my student who could start the book will not be able to finish the book. It just won't. Um, we've got graphs where it's like reading how many cassettes were sold, which he may be able to do, which is on page 104. And he'll be able to do this division. So either I can skip around when we get there or just wait. And we will see as we get closer. And frankly, I'm reviewing a bunch of math things coming up. So there's that. But we really like it. Um, I will include a video right now of my unboxing of this. It's from social media. So, you know, stay tuned. I'll see you in a minute. We are looking at a new math book today. And it's Mastering Essentials Math Skills Book 2. And it's for middle grades and high school. So if you have a student who needs some practice, needs to hone their skills, or just needs to make them quicker, this is great. This is uh, divided by lessons. It has corresponding videos, and it is taught by America's math teacher, Richard W. Fisher. It's designed to be about 20 minutes a day. So yeah, this is one I got for my youngest and for my high schoolers just to hone in on possibly. And so yeah, they do have free video lessons that goes with it. And it's a workbook like this. And so it's got speed drills and review exercises, helpful hints, and then goes down, ends with some word problems, which tend to be everyone's trouble, no matter how much you like math. And it goes through a lot of what's considered the basics of math, but also the parts that tend to get skipped as you get further ahead in math too. Changing decimals to fractions and mixed numbers. And so it's a workbook. You can work in the workbook, of course, or you can just grab a uh, notebook and write alongside it. And so, yeah, we're going to be checking this out. It even has some geometry review. That makes me very happy. Name each polygon. Some have more than one side. I mean, more than one name. And it goes through and starts talking about names. So, yeah, so I cannot wait to get my kids going on this. This was given to me free to review as part of the homeschool review crew. So final thoughts. This does say middle grades through high school. And I definitely think you can use this through high school. When you begin using it, I'm not quite sure. I have a fifth, sixth grader. Um, but his... It's spotty for him. If I said everything he's got every grade, I would say like second or third grade. And then he's got bits and pieces up. So... I like it though. Um, I believe I may have a coupon and if so, it'll be down in the bottom. I, I do recommend it. It's, it's a good book and it's basic and it goes through it. And like I said, I really like the fact there are those lessons that are the corresponding videos. So if they're struggling with it or they don't remember, you can turn that on and help them get through it. So you don't even have to like be ready to teach it if they don't understand it. And we've, we've really enjoyed it. And we'll probably be doing this multiple times throughout our homeschooling journey. Um, thanks to Homeschool Review Crew for letting me play with you guys. You can pop over to the link down below to purchase the Mastering Essential Math Skills. They have some other products. And you also will see a link down there. And it's other people's reviews. And we review different products too. So you can get not only their views on this book, but there are people with different products that may fit your family also. Uh, thank you. Comment. Let me know what kind of curriculum you would like me to be looking at next, and I will talk to you all later. Bye.